Guess who's back, 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 back again, get, get, Spidey's back, 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 tell a friend, 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 guess who's back, 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 then, What up guys and welcome to the web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the comic universe. I'm Jay, I've got a PhD in nerd culture and I should know, I printed it out myself. You guys, you guys, he is back. They made a deal. Sony and Marvel made a deal. Spider-Man has officially returned back to the MCU. He is back home where he belongs. Spider-Man 3 is no longer called Spider-Man Homeless. He is back once again. It is a homecoming, I guess you could say. But yeah, it was officially announced today that Sony and Disney have reached a deal and the third Spider-Man movie will be produced by or alongside Walt Disney Studios and Kevin Feige. It will be released on, well, the tentative date, I guess, is July 16th, 2021. So, you know, just a little over two years. And he will also appear in one other Marvel Cinematic Universe film. Fantastic Four! Anybody? Come on! You know it! You know it! You know that's gonna be it! That's gotta be it! You know it because in his first appearance, who did he first run into? Who did he try to join to try and get money because he thought they were getting paid? The Fantastic Four, baby! I think that would be awesome! Oh, it's such a good callback. And hopefully, you know, if they continue to just work out these deals, you know, you know, as the time periods go on, they get better at negotiating and they realize that, you know, this is what the fans need. And, you know, your Spider-Man is so intricately tied to the MCU. There's no other way you can do it, man. Honestly, I'm just really happy to see that Sony came out with this and, you know, they finally listened to reason or probably listened to checks. I don't know. But, man, I am so happy that Spider-Man is back once again. We'll get another movie. We'll at least, you know, get a good Spider-Man trilogy. We'll get a good Spider-Man 3 will finally rectify the mistake that happened at the end of the Sam Raimi trilogy. Thank God, we'll actually get a good Spider-Man 3. Who knows, maybe, you know, we don't know all the full details of it, but maybe they could work Venom in somehow and do a proper way to do, you know, an extra symbiote, you know, just a little bit. Who knows, you know, we could just, just a little finagling here, just, you know, have Marvel help you out, Sony. Let them help you. Let them help you help us help you. Come on, man. I am really happy, though. Again, like, you know, Peter Parker was set up so well in the MCU. I know there are a lot of detractors that don't like the Tom Holland Spider-Man as much because of the fact that, like, you know they've sort of replaced Uncle Ben with Tony Stark. First off, you know, I really don't like that argument. You know, he didn't, like, forget about Uncle Ben. Great power with great responsibility does matter. Like, yes, it hasn't been mentioned yet, but it's been mentioned to death everywhere else. So I'm actually kind of glad, you know, with great power, there must also come great responsibility was not mentioned, you know? We get it. We know that's his thing. You don't need to constantly repeat it. And I honestly really like the relationship that he built with Tony. And I think, you know, this could lead to a really bright future for Peter Parker. And I think, you know, with a few more movies to build him out, you could really send him off well with an epic Sinister Six battle 
a la the end of, you know, Brian Michael Bendis's Peter Parker Ultimate Spider-Man run, have him, you know, go out in a blaze of glory as a hero. I mean, his identity is already out there, but like, I think that would be super dope. And then we could set up Miles and have another great hero. And plus, we've already got Kamala Khan in the works, and I'm sure eventually the Guardians will like set up Sam Alexander, and we can get the champions, and that would be super dope. Maybe they could work alongside the Young Avengers, because, you know, Kate Bishop is coming. Again, maybe Miles could be a Young Avenger. I don't know, but, like, there's so many possibilities. I am just super ecstatic about this news. You guys know it. Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel superhero of all time. He is the hero from Marvel that I connect to the most. Absolutely love him, and I've loved this portrayal of the character you know, ever since. This is my favorite movie, Spider-Man, for sure, if we're not counting Peter B. Parker from the Into the Spider-Verse movies. I, I still feel like Into the Spider-Verse is the best Spider-Man related movie, period. But still, as far as live action movies go, the Homecoming series, as we're calling it, you know, it is fantastic. It's such a good portrayal. It's a nice marriage of, you know, what we love about the character from the comics with a couple interesting twists, mixing him in perfectly with the MCU in this world that we've come to know and love over the past decade or so. I am so excited. I'm so glad that this whole thing was fixed. I mean, you guys saw me on the channel, man. I did like two videos back to back. One pleading with Sony to, you know, hear Disney out and make this deal. And then another yelling at Sony for being stupid and screwing this up and possibly just upending their entire like live action Spider-Man franchise. So of course I'm happy. I cannot wait to see what happens in this third movie, especially with that big cliffhanger. Now we can rest easy knowing that that massive cliffhanger will actually come into play in the next film because it will actually take place in the MCU. And we got to see J. Jonah Jameson, so maybe we'll get to see more of the Daily Bugle happen next season two, or I mean next season, I was thinking of it like a TV show. Next movie as well, who knows, maybe Peter's gonna be like a web designer for the Daily Bugle, I mean he is pretty tech savvy. Who knows, again, really excited, cannot wait to see what happens next. But what do you guys think? Are you also jumping for joy at this news? Are you indifferent? You know, do you not care at all? Uh, were you upset that, you know, Marvel um, got Spidey back because you think Disney are a bunch of uh, money-grubbing, greedy assholes? You know, let me know all those thoughts and feels in the comments down below, as always. Don't forget to leave this video a like if let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, you know, the real Manos, Brian, or Deadpoolzilla, all of us. We've got plenty of stuff to offer here on the channel. We cover news, reviews, and so much more. A bunch of other great segments. You know, the uh, fall TV season is picking up. We're going to do a couple TV-related videos as well. Um, you know, of course, like I said, whenever there's any kind of big news, you can guarantee that one of us you know will jump on the chance to cover it whenever possible so again if you like what we do here if you like comic related content you like nerd culture you like pop culture you like all that stuff be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can become one of earth's mighty subscribers today we'd really appreciate it uh in the outro card i will leave linked our latest upload as well as a video YouTube's mysterious algorithm thinks you might like, which I hope you do. But until next time, guys, it's Jay from Mysterious Reviews for the comic universe, and hopefully I will see you guys next time in the universe. And you know who else is back in his own universe? Spider-Man. All right, until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Swip flip. flip.